Hey guys, Kid Guru here, and today I have a tutorial, I guess, for Windows Tweak software. Uh, this has been done a lot, uh, not, I guess you could say, some people have done this. Uh, I've showed not custom themes in the past, but just themes like Zoom Theme, Vista, Transformation Pack. And this is basically uh, all dealing with themes, and a question, I mean, people always ask me this, you know, like, what theme are you using? And then they ask for the download link, they say it won't work, and they tell them they have to get a UX theme patch, and they don't understand. Uh, well, there's a lot of great videos on this. Uh, I recommend checking out a channel by the name of Mobile Phone 2003. He's a great guy. His name is Duncan. He has a couple tutorials on this, and you know they're really, really great. So, uh, if this doesn't help you out, or if you want to see more Windows tutorials, you can check out his channel. Very great guy, Mobile Phone 2003. Again, check him out. YouTube.com/slash/MobilePhone2003. So anyway, um, UX theme patch. Basically, there's a UX.dll file in your uh, Windows uh, system, and that's what runs your theme, etc., along with a couple other files, but the main thing that's going to be patched is the UX.dll. Now, for XP users to patch it, to get uh, ability to use custom themes, by custom themes I mean themes that other people have made on, you know, DeviantArt, uh, interface lift, stuff like that. Uh, so, this is a custom theme right here. It's called Slant XP4, so it's a compact one, you can tell that all that icons are compact. This menu is pretty compact, has a different font, system font. You can just tell by the look. I mean, this you can't tell because I'm using a different browser. This is the Chrome browser. But, hmm, that's a way to show you here. I mean, my documents, you can see the black taskbar, along with the fonts are just changing. It's more minimalistic, even the, you can see the main keys right here, minimalistic. And it matches my Firefox theme, which I can't show you right now because I'm not in Firefox. So, this is where you'll get it from Softpedia. If you just Google search UX theme patch uh, will be the first one. Download UX theme patch 6.0 for XP. All you have to do is rest uh, install it, and then you're gonna restart. You're gonna have to restart, so keep that in mind. Uh, and then you should be good to go. Uh, now, if you're on Vista, it's a little harder. I kind of screwed mine up because they didn't back up my UX theme DLL, and I screwed up with it. And then now I got to you know recover it and all that stuff. But basically, Vista Glass is one that does the same thing, or you can manually do it for Vista. They're, they have like a patch of files, and you can just replace them. Uh, there's a couple, it's a, it's a little harder and manually because you have to uh, get ownership of the files and stuff like that, but Mobile Phone 2003 has a uh, video on that if you want to do it manually if you're on Vista. So yeah, um, now transparency talks about some stuff like this, custom visual styles. This is all for Vista. It's called Vista Glass. The link will probably be in the video description or you can just go to codegazer.com. Now uh, there's a couple versions here. Make sure you get the right one, because if you get the wrong one, you, there's one specifically for SP1. If you're not using SP1, if you're, you know, just regular Vista and you haven't updated SP1, there's a different thing. But So if you don't click this download now button from CNET. This is just for regular Vista if you haven't installed SP1. Here's the current beta release for SP1 if you're using that. So if you're using SP1, use this link, because I've tried to accidentally click this link before and patched the wrong DLL and I forgot to back up my original one. It's not it's gonna replace not gonna replace it. Or oh, actually it will replace it if you don't rename it. So you have to go into your thing and rename it to UX theme dot old UX dot old and I believe let me see if I can find it. I don't actually remember. I'm not sure if I actually remember. I think it's just in your C drive, Windows I'm pretty sure is it system thirty two? I think it's your system thirty two folder. You go to U let's go to the use go through all the use real quick, sorry here. Gotta find it. Or I could just go find, but hey, I'm just scroll down a little bit to I don't I see I'm not positive. Yeah, okay, UX theme dot DLL. This is my patch one, but uh I'm fine on because on XP I'll patch just great, but on X uh Vista you may want to take your original UX theme dot DLL and rename it to UX theme old, UX old, whatever. Maybe back it up or whatever if ever in case you lose it then because if you screw up on Vista what it'll do is uh it's gonna make your thing go to classic mode and it's gonna kinda stick you with that. You gotta have to like restore to like the last system point and then you're gonna, you know, go through all that stuff. It's trouble, so back it up if you can. And if not, just make sure you name the old one just so you can, you know, reference back to it if you screw up by deleting the original one. I mean deleting the patched one and then putting in the old one. So if you're using regular Vista, no SP one, download this. If you're using SP one, make sure you get the beta release. Uh so yeah. 
Uh, there's also one for Vista I just found on Win Matrix that he has one that does it yourself as well. Are you tired of the, you know talking about? If you're tired of it, here's the patched versions, and I believe this is the one where you actually get the manual files probably. So right here, yeah, he shows you how to go through each what step to do to uh, get it manually. Again, uh, mobile phone has a video on this. If you, this is basically what he talks about here. These tw 13 steps, I guess, are really you only have to do the 10. So that's how to get it on Vista manually. He has all the files right here. I'll give the site link in the video description as well. And DeviantArt. Now, this is where you. This is a place where you can patch your thing, but this is where you get them. Or m my favorite place to get them, at least. If you go to DeviantArt.com, and then or DeviantArt, whatever you want to say, go to customization, go to skins and themes, Windows utilities, or actually. Don't go to Windows Utilities. Go to Visual Styles. Oh, no, no. Windows Utilities. Yeah, sorry. Or, yeah, yeah. And Windows Utilities, Visual Styles. Now, at first, you may just see these two. And you want to make sure you click Popular. Obviously, I'm already on it. And then click, I like clicking All Time, which I'm already on. Wait. Is it um, if I am All Time? Why is it not working? It won't let me click All Time. Maybe if I hit. Okay, there you go. Now, now just click All Time. Still doesn't want to work. That's weird. Most popular deviations in visual style submitted in the last 24 hours. Okay, so when it works, click all time. Just being a jerk and doesn't want to work. See if you do this, it'll. It's supposed to show all of them, but for some reason, it's probably not the browser. Who knows? Maybe just click all time. You'll get a list of them. Again, I'm using Slant XP Final or Four, or whatever it's called. You click it, uh, for example, click this right side, visual style. And they're actually not really big files at all. Maybe they have may have like extra stuff like fonts, uh, you can change around with, stuff like that. The, the Whoever makes it may include some extra files, but it's never even, it's a couple kilobytes. You just click download right here, get, and then what you're going to want to do is double click, go into, they may have a VS folder, just double click into the, on the, here, I'll show you what to do. I have one, if you go to, T drive, Windows. I store mine obviously in the folder that they're supposed to be in resources. Themes, Slant XP Final. This is the, you want to click the MSS style and it should open a window like this. It's not going to have like, yeah, just click the MSS style or the MS style. And then you should get a window that has, looks like this and then you can mess around with it. Don't set any of these it should set it automatically for you so one of the things you want, want to mess with if your theme has extra features like mine has compact mode and okay now I see I screwed up there so let me do that again properties appearance mine has compact mode and normal mode and that's just with the start menu Calibri that's my default font for this and a couple others so yeah um and again some people may recommend if you want to go into effect setting you know uh, what do you call it clear type for fonts to make it look better they have their own thing so yeah guys that's how you get custom themes I showed you a couple websites those are all the links will be in the video descriptions for all of these sites and yeah guys uh, hope you enjoyed it. and again check out the website at www.adrianstech.com and email me all your questions concerns video requests to adrianstech at gmail.com thanks for listening and I'll catch you guys later